What is going on guys, DPG here. In this video, we are going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So lads, today was an okay day. I'm not going to say it was a bad day for content, because it definitely wasn't. But it was definitely was not a bad day for content, and at the same time, not great. So, we are uh, we're one pack of the 100. Obviously, tomorrow we're going to be doing a 100 pack opening. And because we are one off... And a bunch of these are like question mark packs. Uh, I don't know. I think I might play a little more TT online. But these packs are not great as far as I know. These mystery packs. But uh, yeah. So anyway. So let's have a look at the new prime cards. So you've got Paul George who came out. And he is 720k. I'm telling you right now he's not worth it. Is he worth like. Well actually probably probably close to 800k you need to buy him. Is he worth like three, four hundred k? I'd say yeah, probably. But is he worth eight hundred k? No, God no. He's most definitely not worth eight hundred k. He's not that much better than Pink Diamond, except for the fact he can play the two. Joe Call is a beast, though. He is a beast. And the fact is, is that a lot of people were talking about him like he was a uh, like oh I price fixed my ruinous price. Like right now you can probably get him for fifteen k a bit. This card base ninety eight ridiculous. The only base ninety eight player in the game. Absolutely ridiculous. The one card I'm looking to go and get is this dude right here, Miles Turner. I he's a little more expensive than I thought he was gonna be. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I'm gonna buy him, and I might just buy Doug McBuckets if he's cheap, and George Hill. I'm just gonna buy them, I think, just because they're cheap, and I should be able to get the three of these guys for thirty six for less than thirty six k. See what the cheapest price I can get Miles Turner for is twenty two one fifty. Not too bad. Let's see what his actual price is. Okay, so we bought him for a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. And then I'm going to just try out again. Okay, I don't think I'm going to lose MT on like a Doug McDermott card. It's like Doug McDermott, as you guys can see here. Um, Just bid. Just bid like 6, 7, 16, 50. No. Alright, let's just add in the collection. Take the 16.50 back. And like he's basically discard value. Like he discards for um, 1500 MT. So he's not going to be much more than discard value. So for that reason. There is no point not buying him and trying him out to be honest. There is actually no point. Uh, let's see. Two, 2000s. Colored diamond. No he's more than 2k really. Jeez, I would have thought he'd be cheaper than this. And this is like pushing into Dwayne Wade numbers. Yeah, I'm not paying 2300 for the card. You can forget it if you think I'm paying 2300 for this card. 2200 And there's so many of them for 2200 and none of them for 2150 Like It doesn't make sense. Like, it just never makes sense to me how there's so many for an exact price. You gotta have 50 and there's none. And there is literally about 30 up at least for this price. But yeah, in the last half an hour, none of them went up for cheaper. There's definitely something up with the auction house here. And then George Hill. Because again, like, he's discard value. I don't really mind that too much. I know pe like, people are getting these guys for under discard value. Like, his discard value is literally like 1,000. I don't necessarily care about paying an extra 100 MTs to try a card out. It really is not my problem. It's not a problem for me whatsoever. Especially when you compare him to like Devin Chenzo and he's kind of similar. So let's chuck these players into here right now and go over their stats. So George Hill, Amethyst. I, again, I don't see them having much of a use, but you just never know. You just never know with certain players in terms of like overall cheesing and stuff. Some players ha might have uses that you don't even realize. Um, you see, he's a small forward, isn't he? Doug McDermott. So you've got George Hill, 27 half badges. Um, quick draw, dimer, pickpocket, uh, clam, stop and go. Quick for his step, handles for days, fancy footwork, bailout. So he's got some pretty decent ones, although he does only have gold range. Got a great three ball, pretty okay driving dunk actually. Good ball handle, good stay on perimeter defense, and good speed. Then you got Doug McDermott. Doug McDermott's just going to be a light set shooter. I wish he was taller than 6'7", because he was definitely listed as taller than 6'7 when he played for the Chicago Bulls. Half quick draw, half range. I'm not sure again what his release is like, but he has got clamps gold as well, which is not great, or which is good, but not great. One problem with him is he's got a 32 block and a 28 steal. 
me up 28 steel. However, you just never know. Steel tendency is kind of important as well. He has got 25. He's not going to steal the ball. And then we got Miles Turner, 98, 99, 31 off badges, pick, um, quick draw and range extender. Got clamps as well. Intimidator, post move, lockdown, pro touch, deep hooks. He's got 70 goals as well, including quick first step, acrobat, great post game, great mid range, great three, pretty good dunker. Has got, obviously he's not going to handle the ball, great block rating, great interior defense, so he got a lot of quickness, so he's not going to be bad, I don't think. So anyway, now we're going to go onto the hot zones and release for these three guys. Then we're going to, I don't know, we might, I'll see what I'll do after that. I might play a game of TTO, I'm going to play a few games of TTO with kind of like Turner as my big man. Or I might just use the three these guys in TTO and see how we get on. So yeah, now we're going to go into the hot zones. So George Hill has got hot zones almost every outside of three. His release is, it's not awful, not great either. Yeah, this release is fine. I don't know whose release this is, but it's it's fine. I don't think it's quite like, it's not unbelievable. It's not bad either. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to be, uh, you're not going to be seeing this card being around too much, but like if you're on a bu real budget, he's not a terrible card to get. Like again, because I think Sunday, either Sunday or Monday, depending on which day I have more free time, I'm going to be doing that entire, like the 17 hour live stream, and he definitely will be one of the first players I pick up. Like for a discard value, he's perfectly fine. He's gonna be perfectly usable, like. So yeah. Not too bad. Like through the legs isn't ideal. Check the behind the back. Oh, okay, that's actually a nice behind the back. But yeah, not gonna be anything spectacular, but you know what? I think he's gonna be just kinda solid. So now it's green on three. And now on to McDermott. So Doug McDermott has got hot zones. Everywhere outside the three, assess that this release. Oh, that's lovely. That's a really, really nice release. Ooh, yeah, for his price, man. For his price. Like, yeah, you can't play defense. He is gonna be nice. Like, that jumper is sweet. He's, he's got only normal dribble moves, so I don't think he's gonna be anything ideal. Like, I don't think he's gonna be the greatest uh, player in the world, so. You have the slow through the legs. Uh, behind the back's not actually bad though. I think is that the honest behind the back? I think it might be. I don't. Uh... Yeah, I think it is the honest behind the back. Either way, that release is really, really nice. Again, I don't think this card's going to be the greatest card in the world, but he'll be again another one of those cards. If you're just starting out the game, isn't going to be the worst card in the world. And like you can't ask for that. Like as long as the cards have some use. Like, as long as the cards have some use, you can't really complain about them. Like, it's not going to be a usable card for most of the player base, but there are specific players, but this is a more than decent card for and you can shoot. So, that is a big thing about this game. So, now it's green on three. And now on to Turner. So, now Miles Turner. Okay, let's test the hook and fade away. So, like, Miles Turner, we know what this card is going to give us in terms of defense. Again, like, he was fantastic anyway. He's not going to be dribbling the ball, but let's see off the catch. Yeah, that really seems okay. That really definitely, definitely seems all right. Yeah, that's... I like that release. I definitely, definitely like that release. The fact that he's got a Hall of Fame range extender as well, definitely helps. Obviously, you have to hold it a little bit longer than you think you'd have to hold it, but... Not too bad. He did... His uh, Amethyst did have the Hall of Fame straight arm badge, though. As in, like, it was a bit of a, a green or miss situation. And this guy might be the same. But, you know what? I think he's going to be fine. I don't think he's going to be a bad card by any means. I think he's going to be a solid 3 and D card. Again, I paid 22000 for him. At this stage in the game, probably not the best purchase in the world. But at the same time, I, I could have definitely done worse. <laughs> There are definitely worse centers for more expensive, especially for my play style where it's all pick and pops. I think he's going to play perfectly fine. He's going to be like, I don't know. He's probably going to be like a budget Hakeem type player. Not Obviously, he's not as good as Hakeem, but he'll play like a similar role. I seem to get used to this release because it is actually, it is quite, kind of quick. So, got to get used to that. 
Going to the basket, obviously, he's going to be pretty good. He is a big man, but let's be real. If you're using him, you're going to be using him like he's a, a he's probably a better version of the Pink Diamond Joel Embiid. That's basically it. He's going to be a better Pink Diamond Joel Embiid, which, again, is still pretty good, if you ask me. But I don't think he's going to be any, anything significantly better than that. Anyway, now it's Green on 3. And now let's get on to the next part of the video. So honestly, I think I'm gonna play. I think I'm gonna play some TTO. I think I'm gonna play some TTO. So I'm probably going to not run with. I should run with the three guys. I run with the three new guys. Let's see how they get on. Let's see how they get on. Obviously, Joe Caldwell's a beast. Um. No, I'll go with this lineup here. I'll go with Caldwell, who's a new player. I'll go with Giannis because he's a diamond contract. I'm all starting. Yeah, I'll go with these three. I'll go with these three instead. Okay, so we're playing against Kareem, Doug McBuckets, and Jamaran. So this is probably, probably somebody with a, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe um, what type of team this guy has. He probably just put in a lot of, load of locker codes, I guess. We're open. Ah, uh, we sold. Good board. Come on, check. We spam. I was about to say, can we spam crossovers and get some good out of it? We got some good out of it in the end. We got a base 98 three-pointer. I'll take that. I'll take it. Like, if we're struggling, we can't always go with Joe Caldwell. We can always go with Caldwell. Like, he's using a foot shot meter. Really? Green light. Let's go. Now we're used to that release that little bit. He actually does not feel sluggish at all moving with the ball. Say that right now. He does not feel sluggish. Oh, leaner. And he knocks it down from the moving three in the corner. Let's go. I completely missed times and he still hit it. That's a good finish right there. Um, I should have definitely shot that. Good roll there by Turner. Nice dunk. Let's go. This is kind of... This is going to be an easy, easy game. It's going to be an easy, easy game right here. And it's off. All right. That's fine. That's the game being bad. That's nothing nothing other than that. To be fair, though, we, I think we did hit a light as well. Help in, help in, help in. Green, there we go. He doesn't even need to help in much. That's a little bit of help, and Turner's actually got that quick release, so. And once you get used to that, oh, this card could be really good. Obviously, the release, you do hold it a little bit longer than you think you would, but I don't know. Like, will, will he come in as one of my centers? Probably not, because I have Eddie Curry. Like, he probably won't... I probably won't find a use for him in the squad, but, like... He's good. He's actually good. So, it's, uh... You just never know. You just never know if I find a use for a card as good as this. And um, we... Wow, we white it, like, four white opens in a row. That is 100% my fault right there. Good dunk by Turner. Alright, we're gonna end on a three-pointer here, anyway. The fact that I'm ending on a three-pointer and planning on three-hunting with Turner kind of just shows the level of my opposition, but sure, look, lads, it is what it is. He shoots a late, and they fell. And we hit the white. Great. Really wanted to end that one on a green. Why not? Why not play another game? So we'll go with the three new ones. As much as I do like Joe Call, well, let's go with Amethyst George Hill. He's a point guard. And let's go with Diamond Doug McDermott. See how we get on. This isn't going to be that easy, I don't think. Okay, so playing against Cummings, um, Bagley, and Derek Rose. So this is definitely a... Oh, no, we don't... It's probably an even team. Probably even team because he's got no range on Bagley. Uh, we sold. But we hit the white. Let's go. Wide open. Oh, man. We are completely selling our releases. We've sold three wide opens right now in a row. We've done a good job at three hunting. We've actually done a good job at three hunting. We just have completely sold. He's behind me. He's behind me. Oh, why did I trigger that animation? Thank you for making the layup. I thought he was going to trigger one where he didn't run straight into Derek Rose. Lunge. And um, we're way out of position. 28 steel. Good old Mr. 28 steel, 32 block right there, Doug McDermott. Like, he definitely fits a purpose, but uh, has some major weaknesses. 
Good pass. There we go. Again, I probably should just shot the moving three, to be honest, but you know what? I'll take it. Good. Good dunk right there. Let's go. We've done a good job of getting twos, and he's also done a good job of kind of overplaying me and stopping me from shooting threes. If I can get a, if I can somehow manage to get a steal though with Dome Theorem, I'll be, I'll be so happy. That would be a miracle. McDermott, get into position. Or you can do something. There we go. Take the layup. This has been a slow game. We only shot one three point. It was the first. We only hit one three. And it was the first point of the game. He's gonna make a pass. He's gonna make a pass. He's gonna make a pass. He's gonna duck corner. No, he got there. Okay, that was a smart move. Um, in the end. A very confusing pass initially, but it turned out to be smart. Okay, we should be able to glitch by him if he off balls, but he doesn't. The on balls, we still glitch by him. And into Turner, who makes the layup. There we go. Like, we're doing a great job of scoring twos, but again, twos don't win this game normally. In TTO, you got to take threes. That is good from them. Like again, we're scoring. This is a tie game. We're scoring literally every possession to be safe at some threes. Wide open. We blew it, but it goes in. Let's go. We've hit two wide threes. We haven't greened at all yet. And we lagged and gave him an open. To two, give him that. You know, at that stage, with the fact that we lagged and we're so out of position, I'll take it. Got him. There we go. The Yana, he's, I'm pretty sure he's got the Yana's behind the back. If they even gave him like a 70 steal, he'd be nice. Like He'd actually be quite good. But like a 30 steal, or a 28 steal on like a 30 block is just not good enough. Is he leaving it open? Yes, he is. Oh, we blew it. We blew it. We had our chance and we blew it. He blew the layup though. Got his own board. Dive at that. Good play by him. Okay. Now this is where it's going to get tough. Hit him with the pie in the back. We got open. We got it. Some sort of a mismatch right here. I want him to step under. I just want him to step under. We've only got gold range as well. Wide open. Green game. Good shot, McDermott. McDermott's money open, but again, you can get the Anna's behind the back. The steal and block rating just make him almost unusable. Okay, so we managed to get the win with those three players. So, uh, anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, a pretty nice couple of players. Turner is very good. I'll admit it, Turner is very good. Like, not a player you run everything through, but like, if I didn't have a Keem, honestly, He's, uh, he's not... Will bring something different to the team, but I've, if I didn't have Akeem, I'd use Turner over... I'd use him over Sigma. He's basically just like a better defender than Sigma, I think. So, yeah, you can't get much better. So, anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.